Contrary to what a lot of people think, being an animator isn't a walk in the park. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and commitment to become attuned in the way of a moving image. I've always enjoyed animation, and I've always found it amazing how a collection of still images, when put together properly, can become a sequence that looks completely natural and flowing. Now, being an artist at a young age, I've always wanted to do something art related when I got older, but I never really knew what that something was until I started watching cartoons more and more often. One day I was I just realized, wow, I really want to be an animator. Now, I know everyone has their doubts about people fresh out of college, and I honestly don't blame you. It's hard to put faith in someone who is new to something, especially when it involves things like money and deadlines and budgeting and, and there's payroll, and you don't want someone who's going to fall behind during that process. I get it. But you don't have to feel that way, though. I've gone to school to thoroughly understand the industry. I've taken courses introducing the technology of the industry. I've learned how to creatively make presentations and pitches for story ideas. And I've even used the tools that you guys use right now. Some of the tools I've used were drawing tablets, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, and the list continues on and on. With my hard work and dedication to the field, I really think I could be a great part of the team, and I hope that you do too. I've learned about lighting and shadow, and the fundamental aspects of animating, as well as the more detailed intricacies. Now, I know what you're thinking. What makes you so special, and what can you bring to the table? Well, here's my answer to that. I'm a strong-willed, independent person with great ideas all crammed into this big head of mine. I'm young and I keep up with trends that the younger audiences like, and because of that, I can appeal to them more. I'm a very organized person and I keep all of my stuff together and I work great with other people. Collaborating on projects is one of my favorite things to do because I love hearing others' opinions and ideas. They inspire me so much. But most importantly, when people give me criticism, I listen to it. I sift through the critiques and pull out what I feel is the most useful information, and I take that useful information and use it to improve myself and grow. Now, I know I'm not a master at what I'm doing, but I am more than happy to listen to people who do know a lot more than I do, because I'm constantly trying to grow. Now, I know trusting young people with something new can be difficult, because not all of us are cut out for it. But let me ask you this. Would you rather stick with stale, overused ideas, or would you be willing to be daring enough to go with something new from someone new? <laughs>